Hello everyone, it's Jarrett Moore, back again with another video. In today's video, I'm going to discuss another Power Automate desktop function, and it's one of the functions that you'll use if you do any kind of web automation within Power Automate desktop, and it's the launch new browser. So without further ado, let's hop into Power Automate. Okay, this is the home screen for the Power Automate desktop. In order to go over this function, we're gonna to need to create a new flow. So I'll go up here and create a new flow, and we'll call this one testing, just for purposes of today's video. All right, everything is loaded here. What I'm gonna do is make things a little bit bigger so we can see a little bit better. So I will get rid of the variables over here and then I will maximize the screen. Over here on the left hand side, you'll see all the different menus of different functions and options that you can use within Power Automate Desktop. But what I'm going to do is in the search is just type in the word launch. And you'll see that for these browsers that you can open up, you can open up either an Internet Explorer instance, Firefox, Chrome or Microsoft Edge. The one tip I will give you before you start to create any flow with any one of these browsers, what you're going to want to do if you haven't done so is go up here to the tools tab and go to browser extensions and then click on either Edge, Chrome or Firefox and this will allow you to uh, or this will show you or show you how to download the actual. So for instance, I'll click on Google Chrome. I already have it installed, um, so that's why it would it would say download if you wanted to from here. But if this was not here, then there would be a button that say it would would say to install this extension into Chrome. So let's head back on over to Power Automate Desktop. And what we'll do now, since we're back over here, at Power Automate Desktop, is we will. Click and drag the launch new Chrome as our first step here. And then you'll see this comes up. We'll make this a little bit bigger so we can see it on the screen here. And one thing that when you do pull up most of these within Power Automate Desktop, there is a more info button. And what you do if you click here is this will actually go over the Microsoft documentation on this particular step. So I will include this in the link below. So if you're looking for more content or information on this step, this is the, the website that you would go to to get that. So let's head back on over to Power Automate Desktop and go back to the flow. And first thing we'll cover here is the launch mode. And what you have two different options within here. You have a launch new instance and you have an attached to running instance. So an example of what you would use launch new instance would be is if you don't have any browser open within your within your system and you want to launch a brand new uh, web instance, this is the option that you would use. Or the other option is attached to running instance. And this would be like in the case, let's go back to the web browser where I had this open and I already have a web browser instance open. Basically, if I use this function, it would basically create a new tab and open a new web instance there. What I primarily use for most of my flows is a launch new instance. And then in the second box down here is initial URL, and this is the actual um, URL for the website that you want to go to. For this particular video, what we'll do is I'll just type in the URL for the Enterprise DNA Forum, and then this next option down here is the window state. And when you open up this new web uh, instance, do you want the screen to be you know, normal size, maximized or minimized? And through my experience, I would probably suggest that you used maximize. And this will just help you out as you go through with your flow if you use any particular functions because there are certain functions that work better with a maximized screen. So I always, in my case, use maximized when I open up a new web browser instance. And then we have a few other tabs down here at the bottom. We have an advanced tab. If you click on that, 
that, that gives you the option if you wanted to clear the cache or clear the cookies um, or this is on by default which is wait for page to load I usually keep that on for some of my flows but there are some cases where I won't use that I will disable that function also gives you the options if, if a pop-up box does appear a, a dialog appears that you could you could, um, you can do nothing as default or you could close it or you could press it so you have different options within there and then you have a timeout option to where um, what you could do is, is is say you know basically it says within you know this right here the default is 60 seconds and this would actually um, kill the flow if it's being run if it, if it hasn't opened up the web page in this amount of time so if you wanted to kill the flow if nothing happens within that 60 seconds what you would do is click on this on error button down here and then you have the option to either continue the flow or throw an error and this would be um, in this case if you wanted to, to kill the flow you would click on the throw error but what I'll do right now is go back to return to parameters and I'll scroll back down and then this also whenever this does it, it produces a variable and the default is browser but this can be changed if you just left click or if you just double click within here um, you do you you could change this to whatever you wanted but what you have to do is you have to keep the percent sign on the left side and the far right so you can change any of this text right here that I have highlighted that is browser so what I'll do is is go ahead and click save now we have this the flow slate saved easy for me to say and what I'll do now is I will um, save this flow and then as this is saving what we'll do afterwards is we'll run this and test it out real quick now that the flow is saved what we'll do up here to test this out is go ahead and click on run and what this will do is open up should open up the enterprise DNA forum website there we go easy enough I know this wasn't anything too uh, mind or earth breaking information today but this is very basic information and if you're using Power Automate desktop to get anything from the web this is one of the most important steps that you'll be using as you go in creating your flows I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope to see you again soon on another Power Automate desktop video hey everyone Thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the content covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best, take care.